Hello, welcome to my bathroom. I'm inviting you to get on ready with me tonight. I've done so many skincare routines throughout the years, morning and evening and combinations of both, but I have never done a true casual walkthrough get on ready with me video where I take you through the products I'm using currently at the moment, step by step and show you how I remove my makeup, cleanse and apply my serums and treatments and all those things. I love watching these videos. There's something very organic about seeing people in their less than perfect bathroom lighting setups, just casually talking about applying products and why they use them. So that's what we're going to do. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. This is exactly what I would be doing tonight if you were not here with me, but you are. It's been a long day. I'm ready to start removing my makeup and cleansing my face. The first thing I do is put my hair up. Now, I do not do this right before bed. I'm always up for a while after. Sometimes my husband husband goes to bed earlier than I do and I just want to go ahead and get all the noisy stuff out of the way. And I also like to just get everything off my face and relax with a clean face. Because I have bangs, I have to get them out of the way too. So I usually use this big thing or a brat or something. Next, I put on my wristbands that keep the water from dripping all over the countertop and down the front of my cabinets onto the floor. I think it was about a month ago, I fell in love with the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Moisture Airy Fit Sunscreen. I raved about it in a couple of videos. I don't know if they saw that, but they sent me their cleansing duo to try, which is made for double cleansing, something I talk to you all the time about. And of course, I fell in love with this too. This portion of the video is in partnership with Haru Haru Wonder. To share more about this double cleansing duo, it's great for all skin types, including dry, sensitive, and acne prone skin. And it's available on Amazon. It's vegan and cruelty free. So the first double cleansing step is the Black Rice Moisture Deep Cleansing Oil. It has an unscented, light, watery formula. It's made with only nine ingredients that nourish and moisturize your skin. You just massage it into your dry skin for about 30 seconds and it gently removes stubborn makeup, dirt, and oil without stripping your skin. After you massage it about 30 seconds, you add a small amount of water and start to massage it until it starts to turn a milky white. This is the emulsifying stage, which is essential when you're using this type of oil-based cleanser to really get down in your pores and get a thorough cleanse and get all of the gunk out. So now I'm going to rinse this with water. While my face is still wet, I'm going to massage the Black Rice Moisture 5.5 Soft Cleansing Gel onto my wet face, working it into a lather for 30 to 60 seconds. The two work together to thoroughly and fully cleanse your skin without irritating or drying your skin. It's also unscented and has a light, acidic, gentle, soap-free formula that maintains your skin's pH balance of 5.5, hence the name, to gently cleanse, moisturize, and leave your skin feeling soft. After I rinse my face with water, I gently pat it dry and it doesn't feel dry or stripped. It just feels thoroughly cleansed. This duo is available on Amazon. It's great for all skin types. I'm a firm believer in double cleansing and I've really been enjoying this duo a lot. I'll have the link to it and everything else I'm sharing with you in my description box below. I'm going to go ahead and take these bands off because they're pretty wet and I'm finished with the face washing part. Next, I'm applying Glow Recipe Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. This is a concentrated concentrated multitasking essence toner and serum booster. I apply this on my face, down my neck, and onto my chest. I get asked about my neck a lot, and I do take most of my skincare down my neck. Not all of it, but some. So sometimes my face gets red as I apply skincare. It's not irritated. I just have sensitive skin and rosacea, so it looks red. It looks irritated, but it's not. This has some really great ingredients in it, like coenzyme Q10, which is a really powerful antioxidant, and it helps strengthen your skin and boost the benefits that you see because it's really synergistic with other products you use in your routine. And the Cloudberry Concentrate is fermented for enhanced absorption. It also has a vitamin C and E to brighten and even your skin tone and help with hyperpigmentation and to hydrate and soften. It's got other hydrating ingredients too to help seal in moisture. My skin just always feels and looks better when I keep this in my routine. It's a very lightweight, but I can tell it does something. Next is peptides. I am always talking about having peptides in your skincare routine. They work by signaling your skin cells to produce more collagen. They can help improve the skin texture and tone, reduce fine lines and wrinkles, and improve skin elasticity. They do so many great things for your skin, including helping your skin produce more collagen, which we lose as we age. I really enjoy Matrixyl Synth 6 from Timeless. I like the texture. I like some others too, but this is what's in my rotation right now, and that's what we're covering. It has a nice, thin, watery texture. I take 
a few drops and massage them into my face, my neck, and my chest. And I'm not neat about it. I want it on my eye area. I don't care if I cover my lips. I want all the peptide benefits. Now this may be peptide overkill, but I don't know. Can you have too many peptides? This has different types of peptides than Matrixyl Synth 6 from Timeless. It also has growth factors. So I'm including this in my routine too. I use both of these in the morning too, by the way. I also use a glow recipe in the morning too. This is in beauty elastic skin firming and plumping serum. This has copper peptides, vegan growth factors, and phytomucin. It also has biohacking peptides and ceramides. There are a lot of good things in here and the price point is pretty decent too. You can see that mucin-y texture. It does have a thicker texture than the last serum we just applied, but it still sinks in really, really nicely. I also apply this everywhere too, under my eyes, my eyelids. It feels very lightweight for having the texture it has. When I'm applying serums to my neck and my chest, I do try to move in an upward motion. I feel like it hasn't been looking that way, but I do. I don't wait a lot of time between steps. I just let them sink in, then I move on to the next step. So I now apply my treatment product, whether it's an acid or a retinoid. These are the two that I'm currently rotating, and I've talked about both on my channel several times. Dermalect has glycolic, salicylic, and elixorbic acid, but tonight is a retinoid night, and I use retinal, which strength-wise falls in between over-the-counter retinol and prescription tretinoin, which tears my sensitive skin up, but I wanted more than I was getting from over-the-counter retinol. So Medicaid Crystal Retinol gives me results while being gentle, and they do have progressive strengths that you can choose from, which I really like. I am on 20, which is pretty strong, but I started with six because my skin was used to over-the-counter retinol already, and they have lower strengths if you're new to retinol or retinoids in general. I've been using Medicaid Crystal Retinol in some form for over a year now. The texture of my skin is incredibly smooth as a result, and I feel like it's gotten brighter and more even. I mean, I still have some sunspots, but I definitely feel like the things that I've been doing both morning and night have greatly improved my skin. I've looked back at some of my old foundation reviews and I, I noticed a difference. I do use facial devices too. I'm not using any tonight, but I have shared information on the ones that I use in a different video. I'll have it linked up in the corner and down in my description box if you want to check that out. My more regular devices I tend to use in the morning. So this sinks in pretty quickly and easily. I don't apply it to my under eyes and I don't take it down my neck and chest because the skin there is a little bit more thin and can be pretty sensitive. So I just, I haven't been using it there. So if you're wanting to address fine lines, uneven skin tone, dark spots, visible signs of aging, retinol in general, not just Medicaid, is 20% more potent and works 11 times faster than retinol with out added irritation. My sensitive skin loves this. So I let that sink in for a few minutes before I apply moisturizer on top. But meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and apply this incredible under eye peptide treatment that I've been using from One Skin. This is the OS01 Eye Topical Supplement. So this brand, One Skin, uses the only peptide that's scientifically proven to reverse skin aging at the molecular level. I'm so fascinated by this peptide. They have it in all of their products. I just take a teeny tiny amount on my ring finger and dab it all around both eyes. And I do take it onto my eyelids too because we age there too. So I'm gonna try and run through really quickly why I am just completely enamored with the science behind their products and why I'm in love with this. So we all know as we age, we start to show skin damage and aging skin. Damaged cells are also called senescent cells. The skin around our eyes is thinner, so it can happen faster in that area. So these senescent cells are sometimes called zombie cells. They secrete these pro-aging factors that drive healthy neighboring cells to age faster and also become damaged or senescent as well. So as more and more cells become infected, Infected, this breakdown chain of events starts to happen. We see these age-related signs, wrinkles, fine lines, inflammation, sagging skin, skin thinning, discoloration from the loss of collagen, elastin, compromised skin barrier function, all that. So this OS01 peptide that one skin uses penetrates through the skin and stops those senescent damaged zombie cells from releasing those pro-aging factors and infecting all those other cells, containing that spread basically, and the 
thus slowing down skin aging. So it helps these younger, healthier cells multiply and your skin ends up behaving like its younger self. So you're turning the clock back. I'm so optimistic about where science is going with all of these skincare advances that we're having. I mean, I've had dark circles as long as I can remember. They're probably not going anywhere, but the texture underneath my eyes is better than it was several years ago. Now, do I add in my retinol treatment eye cream sometimes too? Yes, but this is a staple. Moving on to moisturizer, this is Kate Somerville Hydra Kate Recharging Water Cream. I tend to test out and rotate cleansers, moisturizers, things like that, a little bit more than other categories. They're just easier. And I've had this in my stash to test out for a while and I've been rotating it and enjoying it. It's nice and hydrating, but still lightweight. And there's some really nice ingredients in here. And it's supposed to help combat digital aging, which I find interesting. I mean, I'm behind a computer a lot, so why not? Now, one thing I've been doing, this is new for me. I've never talked about this on my channel before. And I actually didn't intend to talk about this today, but here we are because I've been doing this. I've been mixing in a tiny drop of castor oil into my moisturizer, just a tiny, tiny bit. I know the whole castor oil thing went viral on social media, but there are a ton of benefits. So I'm trying it out for maybe 60 days and then coming back to you with my results. I wanna make a quick note about the dispensing mechanism. I love this type of dispenser. It's so sanitary and it allows you to mix products really easily too. Because castor oil does nice things for hair growth supposedly i'm taking that over my brows too now even without the castor oil that moisturizer just feels silky and lightweight so it hydrates really nicely sometimes i use a separate neck cream but i'm just using this and doing the same thing with the castor oil it's also supposed to be really good for fading dark spots and i do have a few sunspots on my chest castor oil is pretty thick on its own but when you mix it into another moisturizer it just spreads so much more easily now, usually right before bed, I take the smallest amount on the tip of my finger and just dab it under my eyes. And I say before bed because I don't usually do this right now if I'm going to be staying up. And then I take it over my eyelashes right along the lash line because of the lash growth benefits. And it can also help dry eyes. Who knew? So I just massage it all over my eye area, basically. I'm not getting into all the ins and outs of castor oil because I'm still playing around with it, but so far, so good. Now, I decanted my castor oil into this glass bottle. It's all glass, even the dropper, because otherwise I would have had to pour it out of the bottle that it came in, and I just didn't want to do that. You don't want any part of your bottle to be plastic because the plastic can leach into the castor oil. You also don't want to use just any castor oil. They are not created equal. Castor oil is very anti-inflammatory and good for your skin if you get the right kind. I'll have all of that on the screen here and I'll have these bottles and the one that I got in my description box. I am very clog prone, sensitive. I have rosacea and it has done nothing but keep my skin smooth and calm. I mean, I'm obviously still testing it out, but I've been using it for a few weeks and I'm pretty confident with what I'm going to end up saying. So my very last step is my lip treatment. I should have taken my hair out a while back. I don't like having it all up like that. So I normally use either Ola Hamrickson Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment in Strawberry Sorbet or Drunk Elephant Lippy. They both have lip-specific peptides that help with lip definition around the perimeter of your lips. If you have uneven lip lines or fading lip lines, it can help with that. I'll link the Drunk Elephant down below. I love the scent and flavor of this. It's got a really natural strawberry scent. I don't brush my teeth right away, but I can't stand having dry lips. So I do go ahead and apply this now. And later when I brush my teeth, I mean, I might have tea or something, or if I haven't had enough calories for the day, I might be eating something after I wash my face and do all of this. So I brush my teeth later. There are some really nourishing, smoothing, hydrating ingredients in here. And I keep my drunk elephant on hand too. I pretty much just alternate the two. I hope you enjoyed getting unready with me. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It. And I do have other skincare routines that I've done in the past. If you want to check those out here, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.